This is Nilesh Kamra from WindowsITExperts.com and in this video we are going to see how to troubleshoot issues related to DLL file. Now uh, I was uh, opening one of the program which is dependent on some of the library components, some of the library files and the program requires that particular library files to be present in your operating system. So there are a lot of programs which are requiring these kind of DLL files. So the error message while opening the program is the program can't start because msvcp140.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. So now we have to troubleshoot this issue to resolve this kind of error and we have to reinstall some of the components to get this thing done. Now msvcp140.dll file is a component, is a part of the visual C++ redistributable package and this package is required to run some of the components installed on your Windows 10 machine like OneDrive is there like Skype is there there are a lot of uh, softwares nowadays which requires this package to be installed on your computer so to resolve this issue we have to download this package go to this link i will give this link in the description below download this click on the download first of all you have to rectify what is the version what is the architecture of your computer and on that basis you have to download this package if your architecture if your operating system is of 32-bit, download x86 package. If your operating system is of 64-bit, then download this package. So now my so now my uh, operating system is of 32-bit uh, architecture. And how I get it uh, rectified? That uh, what is uh, my operating system architecture is so this is the command what I use uh, to get the architecture of my operating system that is WMIC space OS space gate space OS architecture I will give this command in the description below now I will go and download this package click on next So it will take some time to download the package and meanwhile I will pause the recording and will come back to show you how to install it on your computer. So uh, download is done and uh, we will run this program on our computer. So I will click on agree, click on install. the USC box which is asking me to give permission to run this program now the package is installing and setup is successful click on close and that's it the issue would be resolved by installing this component